As seen on TV, products are all the rage. But how do you know which ones are super and which ones are stinkers? That's easy. We're going to tell you. Just about everybody has a smartphone nowadays, and some people like me are actually smartphone hoarders. So let's test out some smartphone gizmos. First on our list today is the Pooch Selfie. It promises that you'll capture that perfect selfie with your pet. So let's bust into this packaging and pull out the Pooch Selfie, which is basically just a ball and a plastic holder for your phone. Snapping it to my phone took a little bit of muscle, but not much, and it's definitely secure. So let's test it out with my dogs, Tux and Jeter, and they don't seem to be interested in the ball whatsoever. Uh, Jeter just wants to lick my ear, so I'll take one of those. And after a little bit of coaxing and coercion, I was able to get a decent shot. But I'm not sure if it's because of the pooch selfie. Now maybe if you threw the ball and they came back and brought it to you and then you attached it to your phone, they would look directly at the ball. But in my case, my dogs don't fetch. But overall, I think the pooch selfie is a good idea and I can see it executing properly with the right dog or cat. So I'm gonna give it a super rating. Next up is the Gojo. It claims to hold your phone absolutely hands-free. I mean, the proof is right there with the guy on the packaging. Hey, this thing will even let you take a stroll through the park. Let's scissor open this secure packaging and see what we got inside. Today's my lucky day because I got two of these Gojos in one package. I can share one with a friend. There's some black adhesive dots inside along with an instruction sheet on how to make this thing work. The Gojo is lightweight plastic that looks like half a headset and it's got a suction cup on one end. I get it. According to the instruction sheet, the suction sticker takes 12 hours to fully adhere. So I'll peel the protective tape off this suction sticker and stick it on my phone, press down a little bit, and wait 12 hours. Okay, I'm back. So we'll stick the suction cup on the Gojo to the suction sticker and try this thing out. It appears to hold it securely, but seriously, I don't think I'm gonna take a stroll through the park with my phone attached to my ear like this. Especially now in the days of Bluetooth where I don't have to have my phone on my ear. Yeah, if you wanna look goofy, the Gojo might be for you. I did give my head a good shake to see how well it held, and it did its job, but again, conceptually, it's a bad idea. Sorry, Gojo, you're a stinker. This next one had me really curious. It's called the Coco Phone. It's a retro looking telephone handset that's compatible with all devices. But to my dismay, an iPhone was not included. How dare they tease me like that? But it does eliminate over 99% of absorbed phone radiation. So we've got that going for us. Opening up the box and pulling out the plastic insert, we find the Coco Phone cradled snugly inside. It has a matte finish to it. It feels pretty decent. It has a 3.5 millimeter phone plug. So I plugged it into the iPhone that I had to buy because they didn't give me one free with this thing. And the volume up and down buttons do indeed control the headphone volume on the phone. But in my testing, which I can't really replicate here on video for you, is that the speaker in the handset is not as good as the speaker in my iPhone. It is a cutesy kind of idea, but who's really going to walk around holding a handset for a telephone for your smartphone? Nobody. I need it to be hands-free, so I came up with this ingenious idea of using the Gojo along with the Coco. Now I'm completely hands-free and look even more stupid. Coco, you're a poo-poo. Next up in our list of smartphone gizmos to test out is the Dynamic Virtual Viewer. This is a virtual reality headset, and it works with most smart devices. It has ocular alignment, tinted front camera window, a superior dark chamber, comfort fit foam cushion, 
high quality German engineered acrylic lenses, and apparently it's adjustable for any size head. We'll pop open the box and pull out the dynamic virtual viewer. It's wrapped in plastic. It also has a protective film over the tinted front camera window. So we'll rip that off. And this front window opens up, and that's where you put your phone, like most virtual viewers. There's an instruction sheet with super tiny print, a lens cleaner, and then two optic optimizers, depending on the size of your phone. Now I'm going to use the number two optimizer because I have what's considered a larger phone, according to the instructions. Also, according to the instructions, each lens is adjustable to your eyes, so you can turn those to make it clearer focus. And it's got Velcro straps to adjust for your head. It seems pretty solid, so I'm going to stick my phone inside and run this virtual reality app. And it works as intended. But I have to tell you that no matter how much I turned each of those little lenses, I didn't really see a difference in the focus. It fits well. It's nice and dark inside. So because it executes the job that it's intended to do, the Dynamic Virtual Viewer gets a super rating. Everybody likes a clean phone, right? Well, the RoboClean could just be your gizmo. It claims it'll work for tablets and smartphones, so let's pop the plastic cover off of this thing, and inside it looks like we have some cleaning wheels or pads, and it's made out of plastic, and according to the instructions, it comes apart with a twist, like this one, and it requires a single AA battery. So I'll we'll put that in there and fire up the RoboClean. And it, it's definitely running. It is a robot. Whether or not it cleans, we'll find out right now. My test subject is this older phone that has a pretty dirty screen on it. So we'll lay the RoboClean down on the screen and look at it go. Wow, it actually does track around the screen and it appears to be uh, cleaning it or it should be cleaning it we'll let it go for about five minutes and when the robo clean was done our phone is still nasty this is a ridiculous idea why would you need a robot to clean your phone when you can use a tissue or cleaning cloth to clean the screen in a matter of seconds? I don't know, RoboClean. Whoever came up with this idea must have had shit for brains because you get a stinker. Our next gizmo is simply called Selfie with a C. It's the selfie head mount that comes in a plastic bag. It claims to be an innovative head mount for your smartphone. Make your smartphone the camera it should be, and you could even play baseball wearing this. Okay. It's basically a series of straps, and you stick your cell phone inside uh, one loop, and then you take the Velcro piece and wrap it around the cell phone nice and tight, and it secures to the back. And then you're supposed to put this thing on your head. It actually does fit tight on my head and feel secure. I don't think my phone is going to go anywhere. But the problem is I can't see what I'm shooting. I have no idea what I'm catching if I'm shooting video. And unless you have a super wide angle lens on your phone, I don't think you're going to get what you intend to shoot with this selfie head mount. I suppose if you really had to shoot something and you were in a pinch and you happen to have this with you, it would probably work, but I don't like it. Overall, I think it's a bad idea, so it gets a stinker. Finally in our lineup today is the Fidget Phone Accessory. It's Fidget on the move. It has a number of fidget functions, so let's get this thing out of the packaging and check it out. It's basically a plastic piece that feels pretty sturdy, and it includes double-sided sticky tape to stick it to your phone case. Of course, you'll want to be sure not to cover up your camera lens or flash, and it sticks pretty tightly to the back of your case. Even though, according to the box, it looks like I may have stuck this to my phone upside down, but I don't really think it matters. It's got a little scroll wheel and a light switch and a three-position slide along with a joystick, and it's got some click buttons on the side. Now, it does increase the thickness, obviously, of your phone, but if you are a fidgeter and need to fidget on the move, 
then I think this fidget phone accessory might fit the bill for you. It's kind of fun, pretty cool, I'll give it a thumbs up. So there's our as seen on TV smartphone gizmos tested. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. Click the screen now to see my other as seen on TV tech gadgets tested. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.